Hello, everybody. My name is Fausto Baglisi again from Cybertrain University. I'd like to thank you for joining me again, watching the features of the Thinkorswim platform that we're featuring of, a, of something that we call Level 4. Now, if you watched some of my previous videos on this platform, which if you haven't done it, make sure you like us and friend us and be able to watch them. But I want to kind of explain to you the great features of how to stop reading the past, but focus on the future. Now, what we're focusing on right now is something called iceberg orders. What is an iceberg order? It's a big block order. Now, if you're a day trader, a swing trader, or an investor, you could use this platform for any type of style of trading. The big thing that you have to learn to be a very good trader is you have to know how to read the future and not the past, what everyone keeps thinking. A lot of you always focus on, you know, where's the support? Where's the resistance levels? Well, just think about for a second. The past is not indicative of the future. And here at Cybertrain University, the way I was trained being a market maker over the years is that you need to know where the big boys are. Like I said, where the institutions are, the high frequency trades, the dark pools. Those are the people you have to look for. And what we're looking at right now is looking at a stock symbol, which uh, everyone's very familiar with, which is called Microsoft. Now, what we're looking at it as, as, as a very big scale as a swing trader. And as a swing trader, we always want to know, OK, do I take a profit? Do I get out? Do I get in wherever it is? And what I want to show you is we are going to see where those big orders are out there because they're out there already. And you probably never knew that they were out there, but they are. You think that they are out there, but now's your chance to see it. Now, here, what we're looking at right here is I'm going to get my little pointer so you guys, could, uh, fellow traders, could follow along. Actually, I'm going to get my little uh, pencil right here. Uh, there we go. All right. So if you notice right here, we have these big orange lines. OK, now these lines that you're seeing right here, fellow traders, these are orders that have been out there when the market opened up. And as you work your way across that line, you'll see that there is a 72,000 share seller out there that wants to get out of Microsoft at 320 major resistance levels but before that you'll notice that we have another big seller at 315 for 58,000 shares now let me repeat that this ain't chump change 58,000 times 300 dollars stock is no 300 dollars okay we're talking millions and millions and millions of dollars now all those orders are ag aggregated once again, watch some of my older videos that I have, and I go into detail about that. But the big thing is you want to have that game plan. Some of you said, how do, do I do pro, do I set my limmer stops and exits? Well, here you have, you have the facts right in front of you so you could have that game plan. Now, obviously you could see Microsoft is really like kind of trading in this range over the course of the day. And let's say you're away, you want to have a game plan, you want to get out where you obviously want to know where's the next big buyers are. And you could see right here that you have another 50,000 share buyers right around 300. And then you got 73,000 at 95 and another 75 at, three, at 290. Do you notice a pattern there? That this stock realistically is moving in $5 intervals. So if you want to know where the next support and resistance levels are, all you got to do is look at the book map, see if they're out there. Now, is that people say, oh, that's common sense, that's normal. No, it's not. No, it's not. Sometimes they're not out there. Sometimes they, you think they're out there, but they're not. And that's where people make this mistake. So there are going to be bigger ones than others. And as I zoom out, and let me just clear this out, and as I go over the, over the years, you could see that there's 100,000 share buyers at 280. OK, there is a hundred eighteen thousand shares at three fifty. So these orders have been out there. So if you're an options trader and you want to do, you know, let's say you want to do a leap or you know, whatever you want to do a short term trade, you want to do a, you know, a, any type of option strategy that you have. This is a way of using bookmap to have that game plan. So regardless of how you using indicators all the time, just remember the problem with indicators, they do not predict the future. The future is where the orders are out there because those indicators 
are laggers. You don't want to be a lagger. You want to be a leader. And the leader is you have to know where the buyers are. And the book map is going to show you that on the Thinkorswim. So anyway, if you like this video, please like us, friend us. We'll have a lot more of these on the book map on Thinkorswim. And also, you can always join us in our professional trading room. We'll show you live in the market, which you could see it live and not only on stocks like Microsoft or Intel. We can look at other stocks. Remember, there are 25,000 stocks out there you could trade. So the point is, if you want to try them and you want to see what's happening in your stock today, here's your chance. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in upcoming videos.